Hi everyone, my name is Charlie, and today there is no topic to this video. Today, we are having something of the bad hair day, but I'm hoping that this is just because it's a Monday, and it's my own fault, really. Because yesterday, I decided to clean my room. <sighs> Tidying my bedroom is a big job, which is why... I have put it off for years. Younger Charlie would never actually clean his bedroom. And I think I've been slowly getting rid of stuff from my room. And I thought that I'd got rid of most of the crap and the detritus that I did not want. But under the bed exists. And if I don't like to tidy my bedroom, I definitely don't like to tidy beneath my bed. My granddad made my bed. It must be about 24 years ago. And I think that because we lived in a bed sit at the time, he must have decided to keep it quite high off the floor as so as to give us some more storage space beneath it. However, I don't think he accounted for dust. And dust accumulates under that bed like nobody's business. <sighs> Admittedly, this was okay when I was younger. Sorry, I might sneeze at some point and that will just be horrendous to see on camera, but I'm sorry about it. Basically, dust, it didn't matter so much when I was younger because obviously... I'd have small toy boxes and I'd be constantly moving them out. So not a lot of dust would get under there. But now, I'm 25, not really playing with action figures anymore. In fact, I gave the majority of them to my cousin's son. So, um, yeah, I hadn't been under this bed in a while. In fact, it had been so long that... I discovered the box off my Lexmark printer. I haven't seen that printer in 10 years. I don't know what I did with it. I have a very nice HP printer now, and I've had that since 2010, so... No idea where why this box was there. It had GCSE paperwork in. It had A-level paperwork in. I found a folder from when I first started volunteering at Age UK back in 2008. Um, I could not believe the amount of stuff under there. And it was covered in dust, so that I was wearing gloves. But I know, I know from past experience that whenever I clean my room, whenever I get around dust... I decide to start sneezing, and I have been sneezing. My chest has been clogged. I feel like the inside of a vacuum cleaner. And the room is still not finished. I have a supermarket travel, well, supermarket bag full of books that I have borrowed from the shop, books that I don't want anymore simply because there is no room on my shelves. My shelves are jam-packed full. I have had... I've moved stuff over from a different shelf to swap them out with DVDs in the hopes of having more space. I do not have any more room for books. The, like, table I have beside my bed is piled high with books. That has books inside it. It's not really a table. It's like a, I don't know, whatever, like a box at the end of a bed, really. There are just books everywhere, so I had to call some. I also found my two old laptops. One was the indestructible laptop. Again, bought in 2008. It died in 2009 slash 10. My good friend Lindsay sent me a laptop in order for me to still be able to continue working on National Novel Writing Month that year, which I then proceeded to destroy because it doesn't work anymore. I did try to get it to work since my current laptop has finally died after seven years of work, but it's not to be. Um, so they're going in the electrics bin today, and the I just felt so filthy. And then 
at about, I'd started at half past 10 yesterday and I was still going at half past 12. I filled a bin liner with rubbish and like I was finding like tissues that I know are from every cold that I've ever had in the past and I was just thinking am I going to get tuberculosis now is this how it starts like a meshing of all of these viruses together just to finally kill me off in some way and so that was a great terror because you know it doesn't take much to get my hypochondria to start um and yeah my dad's mate showed up at half past 12 when my dad wasn't there and so as such I had to go downstairs and have a cup of tea and wait for my father to return to chat to him and so that was an hour and then about an hour or two later my brother showed up from Northumberland with my nephew it was his birthday last week my nephew's not my brother we don't celebrate um and so we were there playing and everything and that went on until about half past five when my nephew finally fell asleep and then I went upstairs and continued with this and I was cleaning for about 50,000 years. Sorry, I will have to wipe my nose. I will try and get out of frame for this. No, I won't. That was fun to see, wasn't it? Very fun. You are getting a glimpse into Charlie's life in these vlogs when he has no computer. But yeah, we had tea, and that happened while my nephew was still there. And then I continued to clean. I cleared off all the stuff I'd put on my bed. I brought all my bedding downstairs because it was now caked in dust. I was caked in dust, and I went for a bath and listened to Agatha Raisin with that's on Radio 4 Extra. Great radio plays with Penelope Keith, if you want to go and listen to him. And then I came downstairs, and it was about 8 o'clock. And I questioned just why I decided to tidy up, when it had, in fact, only been... The reason, I'd, the reason that I'd gone upstairs was simply to hang some clothes in my wardrobe. I wanted to write yesterday. I wanted to finish reading something because I know I'm in work today. I'm going to have to go and try and figure something out with my laptop tomorrow, work again on Wednesday, writer's group on Thursday, back here, Friday, Saturday. All that fun stuff. So I know that I won't necessarily be reading a lot. Morning, Mr. Magpie. So, yeah. I bet you're really grateful to get told this story about me tidying my bedroom. I bet you're really appreciative of the insight into my life. <sighs> the problem that I have is that I like my room to be tidy because I'm one of these people who likes to have this tidy workplace. I work in my room and that's where I do most of my writing nowadays. And so I get it into my head sometimes that I need to tidy in order to feel somewhat clean. And really, it was just about putting stuff away yesterday. And the majority of the tidying was done by half past twelve. I was just incredibly idiotic and actually chose to go and fight this giant dust monster under my bed. I mean, it's fine, it's clear, but it was one of those cases where I did actually think, shall we just take everything out and burn it and start again? <sighs> anyway, thank you for sitting through this video, if you have made it this far. I will admit that I probably didn't sleep as much as I could have last night. I may be a tiny bit high off an antihistamine, but what are you going to do? I hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time, that is all.